welcome back to JJ Rick's Rise of Waymo. This is the final video on the on this trip here. I'll go record some new ones in a couple of days. But this whole session only cost 30 bucks. Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty cool. Um, okay, what kind of, what kind of cars do Waymo employees drive? There's a Rivian R1T right there. Not many Teslas. Go figure. Although I don't, I've heard they don't have many engineers out here. In fact, I think I heard there's only one and you know who you are. Hello. <laughs> so maybe that's not a representative sample. If you remember a couple videos ago, I mentioned there was an inbound train coming to Phoenix. That could still be the case, and in fact, if I've taken long enough and timed it right, one in a hundred thousand chance, we turn right here and there's a train at the railroad crossing right there, but I don't think so. Let's see it. No. The answer is no. Okay, that's pretty much what I expected. GoPro battery on 10% here. If you don't mind, I'll probably swap it at the next stop. I just moved the camera again. Dang it. Okay. So, truck is turning right into the parking lot here. We've decided to... something. We changed lanes, waited a bit, and kept going. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I think the Chandler Depot is in the service area, um, but we're, I'm coming up on the end of my time for a filming session here, and that's kind of far away. Although technically I do have enough camera battery and storage space to keep going. But this car only has 80 miles of range on it, which is a decent decent amount, but I still want to make sure it can get back to the depot. And you know, I bet you it would kick me out if it was going to run out of range before being able to go back to the depot. I don't know. That's just something it sounds like they would implement, but... Okay, so we're kind of back to original Chandler service area territory at this point. Okay. 
battery swap. I uh, I ran out of time. Okay, great. Sorry. Well, this sucks. Okay, three, two, no. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. There we go. New battery. Nothing happened though, so we're good. chicken in the median. Not even a hesitation for that. Good deal. When I get home, I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. sensor this time. quite tell if that construction up ahead is enough to be present to present a problem for Waymo but I kind of wish I had um, continued on here yeah I can't tell maybe it's just like a simple well yeah I think it's just a simple one lane block it's not anything to get excited about. visit the 
that little section of the service area that is open east of the Chandler Industrial League. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm going to keep recording. Ha ha! <laughs> we'll, just, we'll make that the last video because I want to, I just want to see it. So there's that little section of service area that is east of the, the Forbidden Railroad tracks. And I'm very curious to see what's going on over there. Hold on a second. Is that south of... Did they just remove it from the service? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Almost there. Don't forget your belongings. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They removed it. It's gone. It's literally gone. I there there used to be a quarter square mile of service area east of those forbidden railroad tracks as if purely to spite and troll me. As if just to say, yeah, we don't care about those railroad tracks, but we're not going to go east of them anyway. Um, but Waymo being Waymo and their four-dimensional chess with service area boundaries and disengagement zones has decided to eliminate those sections. So, oh, okay. And with that sudden stop, You're here. we're going to... Please make sure it's clear before exiting. We're going to call it here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, really appreciate it. Taking time out of your day. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.